Hello my viewers, I want to welcome you to another exciting lesson in Revit. In this lesson, we are going to look at a very very important tool in Revit. And this tool is called the switch join order. This tool is found under the modify. And if I go under geometry and click under join there, you see that we have the switch join order. This tool is very, very important for all those who use Revit for modeling and also detailing of reinforced concrete buildings. So without wasting time, let's get started in this lesson. Now, before I proceed, I just want to ask all of, all of you, please make sure that if you like what I'm doing on this channel, subscribe to my channel, like my videos, and also turn on the bell notification. That way, when I upload a new video, definitely you are going to see it and you should be able to continue learning on this channel. All right. Now, this is the model where we are going to demonstrate how the tool works. And, you know, if you are just modeling, you know, single elements, single members in Revit, you may not be able to see how this tool is quite useful. But when you start modeling complete structures like this, you are definitely going to encounter situations where you are going to need this tool. Okay. And if you don't know the tool, you know, it, you may think that I mean, Revit is not even useful. Okay. So if I just go down here, one of the pictures, you are going to see something like this. Okay. If I just let me just, you start seeing if you isolate elements you see that the beams are not complete the columns are cut something like that but you don't want to see that what you want to see is something like this as you start isolating it could be beams columns you know intersections of slabs so this is what we are going to learn in this lesson you see on how you can apply that tool so that you don't encounter such situation or when you encounter such situations you're able to correct it and move forward you know in a very very simple manner okay now what i'm going to do i'm just going to isolate this beam so you see what is going to happen of course as we learn the switch join order to also learn some other tools which will help you to move around within your model so i want to isolate the beam and the columns there so i can just select on that beam hold the control select this column okay that beam this column this column and this one and also the beams and also the beam underneath there this is what i want to isolate so that i maybe i can add this view a 3d view on my sheet or start you know you know you don't want to be you know it will be easy for you to isolate certain elements for example if you want to add you know riba or just want to look at certain members and isolate the rest you what you need to do is just select like this okay so if i want i can go to selection box if i do that you see that it's going to select like that but the disadvantage with that is just going to cut out anything outside this box so another tool that you can use is you know hide a, a tool which is for hiding i simply use a shortcut because it's a default one if i just type hi on my keyboard you see that it's going to isolate just what you selected so hi on a keyboard is a temporary hide isolate this is the tool which is down here if i click there you can see that that is the tool which is here so after isolating like this hi on your keyboard once again this is what you are going to have. Now, as you can see, it looks perfect because I already joined some of the members. Now, with this tool, if I go down here, I can apply this or I can, let me click once, I can reset. If I reset, I'll go back to the previous, you know, view where i use the selection box bx is a shortcut for selection box now if i want to deactivate the selection box just go under the properties and under the section box deactivate that then you have the everything appearing okay so i'll go the other side because i had to join there so you see that it looks perfect if i just you know just orbit like that then pan up to here then close this one and zoom in let me try to select this one again Okay, hold control and select this one, select the beam, just the column, sorry, the column, this one, then the beams, as you can see, then hold, 
the shift and then my wheel on my mouse to orbit like that then hold control and select that one then hi like that click outside you see that you see that this one was not joined and you can see that we have such issues as you can see from here so this is where the tool is quite useful as you are going to see so what i'll do i'll go down here and i'll click there and i want to reset so that i'll go back to this view as you can see from here now I think is it this one I'm not sure okay I think it should be the other side okay let me just orbit like that zoom in here I think it's this beam yeah as you can even see that it's cutting somewhere there now what you need to do you see that you know the, the priority is given to the to the slab that's why it's cutting the beam so we have to change you know the order and this is where you have to use the two okay now it could not just be between the beam and the slab it can all the you know concrete elements which are joining they are joining in a particular order those which are given the highest priority will show and those you know lower in the order of priority will be cut so that's where you need to switch now the join order you see that if i just click there this one is cutting you know the column so what we are going to do is to go to the join and pick the switch join then i'll start by picking you know the the slab where is the slab i think i can just over my case there should be able to select okay okay let me just form a case there now i can select the slab as you can see from here now once you select one it's just a matter of now going to the other it will just you know change the order okay the order that you so if i just click on the beam you can see that now it changes the order if i go you can see that now here there is a hole because we don't want you know that hole to be there you have the you know the slab there and the column so if i just click on the column there it closes there so you are simply changing switching the order this tool is very very important you may agree with me that you know sometimes it becomes tricky for you to you, you may not even know what to do you can see that we have that small opening there i think it should be the column if i click on the column it closes again we have you know that row there i'm supposed you know to click the column there so that i can switch the order let me just orbit okay it's because i'm in the command but you can see that i can click also on the column and this one is okay i just want to make sure that i also pick the beam underneath there let me click there and orbit i want to put the center sometimes it becomes tricky to orbit just put the center there and now try to orbit as you can see it's perfect just click there to close then the slab is still selected and i can pick this beam you can see that it's being cut there and i just want to select this beam you can see that it goes all the way up to the top as you can see this is perfect let me click on modify and hold the shift and the wheel on my mouse like that now let's isolate this one you see that it's now perfect okay so if i select once again all the members by holding control just like that just holding control on my mouse and then clicking like that all right let me continue and shift hold shift and the wheel on my mouse hold control and select this one okay then orbit like that then hi on your keyboard you can see that this is now perfect of course i missed a part here that's why I'm still cutting but you can still select the column it's going to change the order so this tool is very very important so if i again if i want to apply this view the way it is okay after doing whatever i want to do i can go there because you can see that we have temporary hide isolate this is temporal the view is temporal so if you're happy with what you've done you can just go there and now apply hide isolate to view click there that one disappear now this is a permanent view so make sure that you go to modify if i go to join we also have if you want you can you know this is just the opposite again you know and join geometry if you want to join join geometry if you want to switch already if they are they are already joined the way they were if you want to just and join you can do that so make sure that you follow this tip as you are working with reinforced concrete you know elements in revit see you in some upcoming lessons in revit